Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Tonight, for our second and final mile, we're running for a fallen firefighter who lost his life in the line of duty. Tonight, I'm running for fallen firefighter Trevor Brown. He worked with the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company in Virginia, and his last alarm was February 16th of 2024. He lost his life after an underground propane leak tragically exploded while they were at the scene of a residence, um, causing him to lose his life. He was 45 years old, time is passing, serving since 2016 with the Volunteer Fire Company. He was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran who's behind a wife and three kids. You may also notice I am wearing a Sterling Volunteer um, Fire Company helmet. Um, the lead patrol car tonight is act was actually a, uh, a member of this department back in the uh, late 80s and early 90s, and he gave us this helmet to wear for the run tonight. Um, I'll be running with the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track within my school, which is the equivalent of one mile in his honor. And tonight I'm gonna be joined by a similar County Sheriff's Department cruiser and the Winter Springs Police Department cruiser as well. Uh, before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in our of soul family and department through the hard time are going through with it, I'll be on my way. Those that are tuning in tonight, tonight, Zechariah running one mile in honor of fallen firefighter Trevor Brown. He served with the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company in Virginia, tragically losing his life on February the 16th, 2024. He lost his life after an underground propane tank at a residence caused a, a catastrophic explosion. He was 45 years old at the time of his passing, having served with the agency since 2016. He also served his country as a Marine Corps veteran and leaves behind a wife and three kids tonight. Zechariah running a special mile for this fallen hero, the lead patrol car being driven by a deputy in our county that used to serve with the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company. Zechariah wearing the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company helmet to honor firefighter Trevor Brown here tonight. We're always appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside our youth runners. And tonight, helping Zechariah honor fallen firefighter Trevor Brown, we have members of the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, as well as our home city, the Winter Springs Police Department. Running with Zechariah, one of our fellow youth runners, Juliana, Zechariah's little sister, Chloe, out walking and running as well to honor this hero. Again, we're here to pay tribute to 45-year-old firefighter Trevor Brown of the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company in Virginia tragically lost his life February the 16th, 2024, after a catastrophic explosion at a residence while he was responding to a call of an underground propane leak. Serving since 2016 with the agency, was a Marine Corps veteran and sadly leaving behind a family that includes a wife and three kids. Again, Zechariah running tonight with the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company helmet, which used to be worn by the deputy that's in the lead patrol car behind Zechariah tonight. This one hitting close to home. Zachariah now completing his second lap to honor this firefighter tonight. For every mile that our youth runners complete, they carry a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that they run to honor tonight, Zachariah carrying the red line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of fallen firefighter Trevor Brown, along with a note that Zachariah has written. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, you can visit running the number four heroes.org. We'll also do a follow up post a little bit later with details on how you can be a part of this mission. As Zechariah completes lap number three, begins lap number four, I'm gonna go silent and then remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero fallen firefighter Trevor Brown of the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company in Virginia. We extend a heartfelt prayers to his wife, his three kids, everybody with the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company mourning the loss of this hero, 
as well as for the recovery of those injured in this catastrophic explosion. We hope this run tonight honors firefighter Trevor Brown in a beautiful way. And we thank him for not only his years of service to his community, but to his years of service to his country. WPCV.
So I've got any final words tonight for the family of fallen firefighter Trevor Brown. To the entire family of fallen firefighter Trevor Brown, his wife and three kids, and all of his friends he made during his um, eight year service with the Sterling Volunteer Fire Company. We hope all of you heal very soon through this loss. Um, from what I've heard, Sterling Volunteer Fire Company is uh, a vast area just outside of DC and Virginia. And it's all volunteer, which means that uh, these firefighters dedicate their own time to help save others. Um, being a volunteer, it's incredible that these firefighters like Firefighter Brown were able to go to these calls with such bravery. Um, he lost his life after an underground propa propane leak uh, at a residence caused a catastrophic explosion. Um, I'm sure in their training and their experience, you know that those types of things can always lead badly. But Firefighter Brown still decided to go and make sure everybody was protected and safe. And he gave his own life serving his volunteer time with this department. Um, if you are part of the family, I'll say this on my flag very soon along with a handwritten note. We pray that this run and also this helmet from the Sterling Volunteer Fire Department that was getting from our um, lead patrol car who worked there can just show you how much we're appreciating you through this hard time. And please know that we have people who represent this department here as well that are going through a hard time. And we know how much you may be going through this, through this loss. Um, at this time, Bob and I join us in a 21 second moment of silence following that will be a prayer. Each second day, King, one amazing thing this fallen firefighter did during his life. Dear Heavenly Father, today we did two miles, the final one being for a fallen firefighter out of Virginia. God, I pray you watch over his whole department and everybody involved in this terrible explosion that was very unexpected. God, I pray all of them can find healing and I pray that can, entire community can find comfort through events like this. God, I pray you keep watching over the family and, and his whole volunteer fire department as they mourn the loss of this fallen firefighter. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us in these two miles. Um, I'm not sure when we're running again, however, I'm sure we do have some more to do. Um, so please stay tuned for a lot more miles ahead. Let's hope it keep, keeps going down though. We, we have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight and I pray God blesses you all.